back to my channel. I'm actually going to attempt a little week in my life vlog just because I do have a little bit more going on this week than I usually do. Even though today's Tuesday, yesterday, Monday, I didn't really do anything. I took a rest day just because I did go to the gym on Sunday. Um, I just did like cardio yesterday and didn't really do much else besides get my life back together for the week. And then today I'm actually getting my hair done. It is very well overdue um, for a cut color, um, all those things. It's just my roots are so bad. I think the last time I went was like four or five months ago um, in like June. And so it's definitely time for a refresh and I just love getting my hair done just because it makes me feel so much better and that much more confident. And I just love being brighter blonde. Um, I don't love my natural color just because it's gotten way like dirty blonde over the years and I've just been dyeing it um, the past few and I don't know what it is I just think my dirty blonde hair like and especially when I'm wearing like a ponytail or like a slick back bun I just like don't love the way it looks and honestly it makes me feel like I look like a boy I know that sounds so weird and bizarre but that's just how it makes me feel so I'm super excited to finally get it done. I also think I'm gonna try and get shorter bangs. Every time I go, I'm always like, okay, like just a little bit shorter on the bangs, but like this time I actually have like a picture um, and I think I kinda wanna try like shorter curtain bangs. Usually I like end them like face frames like at my chin, but this time I think I'm just ready for something a little bit different and to spice it up, so I'm excited for that. Then I think I'm just gonna run to Home Goods later with my mom, she wants to go, and of course, I'm gonna be sucked into all the holiday things. I'm gonna show you guys my cute little holiday sheets that I got from Target. And yes, I am a November 1st gal who puts all of my Christmas stuff up on November 1st. I just love it. It's just a little tradition that I make for myself, and I just like watch Elf and Christmas movies all day long while I just decorate my house. And I just really love it, and I've never really been like a Thanksgiving girly. I just like my family growing up. It just never was like my favorite holiday to look forward to. And I kind of just like think of it as a speed bump on the way to Christmas. I just love the holiday season. Um, so I'm super excited for that. Um, and I'm actually going home this year. Um, we didn't go back last year, um, but I'm going to go to my family's house and then my fiance's family's as well. And I haven't been back there in a while. So it's going to be interesting, but I'm honestly looking forward to it overall. And then I'm actually, I'm dressed to go to the gym, but I'm actually just gonna hit a quick shoulders and tricep workout in our little home gym that we got going on. I might film that and put that in here as well, just because I don't wanna be rushed um, to go to the gym and back and be able to get ready for my hair appointment. It's at 1.30 and I have to leave by one and it's already, I think almost like 11 and I still wanna make lunch too before I go because I'm gonna be sitting in a chair for like four hours. So I don't wanna be starving by the time I get out. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just looking forward to this week and hopefully getting in a little mini vlog type. I haven't done one in a really long time. Um, and then Wednesday, I'm really excited for my churches. They do like a praise party. And so it's at night at like seven and they just worship for an hour or two, I think. That's how it works. I've never been to one, but I'm super excited for that. Um, typically they've been doing what they call pray days on Wednesdays, um, which is at 6.30 in the morning. And I've actually been doing that the past few weeks, but it's kind of like a seasonal thing that they do. So um, last week was the last one for that. And then this week is the praise party. So I'm really excited for that. And then tomorrow I'm also finally going to like a GI specialist. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time now and I'm finally just like biting the bullet just because I have been struggling so hard to lose like body fat or retain to like lose weight in like my stomach area. And I just know, I already struggle with IBS. Um, and if you've been on my channel, I've talked about that before, but I just think there's just more underlying like stuff going on and I just kind of want to like talk to a specialist about it just because I do like exercise four to time four to five times a week. I'm eating pretty healthy. I honestly eat the same stuff on repeat like chicken, vegetables, eggs, peanut butter, sweet potatoes, potatoes, like all like fairly good stuff for you and I just like haven't been seeing results. And so it's been really frustrating, but I'm looking forward to going to that appointment tomorrow as well. And then I honestly don't really know what the weekend has 
um, in store for me. Um, but we will find out. But yeah, other than that, I'm going to show you guys a few little haul things that I got um, over the past few days. And then I'm going to show you guys the cute little Christmas sheets as well. And then I'm going to go get um, going on my workout. I just have a few little things that I've gotten over the past week. Um, if you've seen my last video, I announced I am now a whole strength ambassador. Um, they are a Christian like gym streetwear apparel. Um, and I talked more about it in that video and a little bit of like my faith testimony if you want to go check that out. Um, but I did go back on their website this past week and I got a few more things that they just had like on sale um, that I just wanted to snag. And then I know their Black Friday sale is coming up and it's going to be up to like 70% off on their website and with my code um, will get you an additional I think 10 or 15% off. I think it's 10% but already off of 70%, like that's a pretty good deal. Um, so if you wanna go check them out and then at checkout, you can use my code, just capital J-O-S-S to save a little bit off your purchase and to support me as well. But I went back on and in my previous video, I got a few of their pump covers, which I was super excited about. And I didn't know how they were gonna fit and I should have guessed by the way that they said oversized in the description. So I did get larges in those and I had like try and clips. Um, so I did go back and I wanted to grab um, the same exact two shirts that I got that I really liked just in a size medium. They were sold out of the smalls, but I think that might not be the oversized fit that I want. So I did go back and I got mediums in both of these shirts. And I love the fit way better. And then I think I'm just going to try and sell my larges <laughs> just so I don't have like duplicates. But I absolutely love this blue one. And I was kind of scared it was going to like sell out before I could like get it in a different size. Um, so it just looks like this. It has their cool logo on the front. And then it says whole strength on their sleeve. And then it has um, a verse on the back, Philippians 413. And I just love this color blue. And then the other one is just this plain black one with same logo, the same sleeve uh, decal, as well as it just says whole strength in the back. And it says powered by faith, which is um, one of their main slogans that they use. And I just love, love, love these. Um, the larges were just <laughs> way too big. Um, and I love my pump covers oversized, um, but this is like the perfect like oversized fit for me instead of the massive larges. And then I thought this was cool. It was like a performance like long sleeve tee, which I've also been loving um, wearing. Like if you know like the Honor Active ones, um, like their Mellow Soft collection, I love that. Um, but I wanted one that was a little less fitted and but still a long sleeve. I don't have a ton of like pump tees or t-shirts that are long sleeves for the gym and I thought this was perfect so it's literally just like a basic black tee um, but it's not that long to be honest and it's like a men's um, and they just have their logo on the front um, and then they do have whole strengths on the neck in the back as well and I love the fit of this I got in a medium and the material is a little bit different than I thought kind of similar to their t-shirts but it's definitely like a little bit lighter and then I also just snagged another pair of sweat shorts. Um, this is like the off-white color that they had in this specific one. I don't know the exact name, but it has the stitching in here. And I got these in a medium, a men's medium. Um, and then it has this cool detailing of like this lion. And then it says Romans 837 on the bottom. And I love the fit of these. And honestly, on Black Friday, I might grab these in like the black color or something just be, to have them. Um, so I recommend those. And then the last thing I have to show you guys is not gym apparel, but it's a pair of cute little, I don't even know how to describe them, like balloony pants that like look like jeans, but they have like this elastic waist, oversized and just chunky, but this is so freaking cute and i'm so happy i snagged it um i got these from an online boutique that i actually love ordering from they're based in indiana and they're called the urban hippie and i love their stuff um and once in a while i'll splurge and get something from them they are a little bit more expensive just because they are a boutique but i saw these and i fell in love this is so freaking cute and like the patchwork is insane. I'm gonna wear this to my hair appointment so I'm gonna show you guys 
um, what they look like on a little bit later. They are just so stinking cute. And I've honestly been over jeans just because working out and everything and my legs have gotten bigger and my glutes have gotten bigger. And so my jeans either don't fit over my glutes anymore or they're they fit my glutes but they're way too big on my waist and so i have just been leaning more towards pants that are like have like an elastic band or just like oversized fit um and i'm glad i got these because they sold out in this size like immediately um and these are a size small and like look how much they stretch <laughs> like that's crazy i have no idea what i'm gonna pair it with like top wise um i'm not a fashionista by any means um, so that'll be interesting, but I'll definitely show you guys this after my workout. And then really quick, I just wanted to show you guys the sheets that I got from Target. They are just like this cream color with this tree and like farm house, um, detailing on them. And I think it's so stinking cute. And I love, um, I guess I was going for like a green aesthetic this year. Um, this is actually my first time getting like holiday sheets for my bed. Um, and I just wanted to kind of like go all out and like festive this year. And these are actually really comfy as sheets go. Like they're actually more comfortable than our previous sheets that we had on here. Um, and they're just so cozy and I just love like the nostalgia vibe, um, of the details. And I just think it's so freaking cute. Okay, I need to stop yapping and actually go do my workout, but really quick, I also wanted to show you guys a little fit going on. Um, this is all from Vital Apparel. These are their new Paisley print um, seamless shorts that they came out with, and they are actually like super comfortable. Not gonna lie, they're a little bit see-through in the back, um, but maybe if you like sized up, maybe that wouldn't be an issue. Um, these are in a size medium. The material is very similar to like Define, but then um, the waist isn't high rise, which I love. And it actually reminds me of the dark sport, like Kaeda shorts. Um, and so I just think this is the perfect fit. especially for my new torso queens like myself. And they just sit the perfect length. And then this little crappy doodad. Um, normally I wouldn't really wear this to the actual gym. This specific fit just because <laughs> it's a lot going on. But since I'm just going to be in my garage, um, I think it's like super cute. And another shameless plug, you can use code at JOSS15 at checkout on Vital Apparel items as well, and it will save you 15% off your order. <laughs> Do you want to stay the night? Cause I don't want to be alone. It's been weighing on my mind for too long, too long. Do you want to save a life? I just really need someone I've been barely holding on And I'm still running from my demons I'm still hiding all my secrets And I just need someone so smoky after I make this meal and I have no idea why it might be I have sucky pans or maybe like covering it would make it help I have no idea but it gets so smoky every single time I've been making this meal on repeat for a while now and it's simply just asparagus chicken and sweet potatoes and then I dazzle it with like honey just to make it taste a little bit better and it's as simple as that. All right, here is the fit I put on the pants. I think I'm just gonna tuck these strings in just cause I don't really like them out or like it looks kind of weird when it's like tied. So 
I think I'm just gonna tuck them in like that. But look, these are so flowy. Again, these are like a size small and I can fit <laughs> almost like double my waist in these, but they are so comfortable. And then I just paired it with this top I got from Urban Outfitters and I think it is <laughs> so cute. I was gonna wear like a little like shawl or like sweater thing, but it's almost 80 degrees outside. So I just think that would be too hot. working well. kitchen because we literally don't have one of these at all and it's like a winter wonderland kind of scene I don't know if you can tell but I thought that would be cute and then I honestly just <laughs> left with three different candles but they're like the decorative ones that I keep seeing um, all over my tiktok page and I thought these were super cute this one is like a little christmas tree on a little plate and it has a wick at the top and then this one is a little snowman scene in this beautiful cup with um like fake snow also a candle um but i think when it's done to like just this it's gonna be so cute to just have her around the last one i got also keeping on holiday theme is like a cute little tree scenery and i thought that was so cute i saw this a few days ago when we were there and i didn't get it but i waited and they still have them so i thought it was a sign so I got it. And that's pretty much all I got. Um, again, didn't do too much damage and can't really be doing all that damage because of the holidays coming up. And then I picked up some sushi for us and I think we're just gonna chill out and watch a movie. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. aces it and I was a little nervous about getting like actual bangs um I haven't had them in years and the shortest one like is like to my pupil and it just feels so different but in a good way and I love it and I just needed a change and it's been a while and if you're in the, the Wellington area look up salon verb it's v-e-r-b-e -E, if I believe and I'll look at my girl Skylar she does it all but she does specialize in balloons um so if you're looking for a hair gal look her up because she is amazing and she's honestly my second therapist that I see every few months and I absolutely love her and then bad news is I am just not feeling the best which kind of sucks because I wanted to film like a few days in my life or whatever and I'm gonna try my best to but I had a scratchy slash sore throat all night long and I even woke up at like three in the morning and it was like hurting so bad and now my nose is like starting to trickle with symptoms of being stuffy and runny and 
I just know my body and if it hadn't gone away overnight then that likely means that I'm getting sick which I'm not happy about at all but I'm gonna try my best to still film and I still have to run to my doctor's appointment that I told you guys about this morning at the GI gut health coach or whatever and I really don't want to reschedule that um, and I'm not feeling like so bad I can't leave the house just yet so I'm gonna go to that and then it kind of sucks I was gonna go to the gym today and do legs but I don't know if I'm gonna feel up for that now um, but I also have the praise party at my church tonight which I really wanted to go to um, and so I might just take the day to like rest so I can still go to that um, but yeah sadly I just know my body and I just feel like it's gonna continue to get <laughs> worse um, I'm hoping that it wouldn't but I just know me and I think I'm on the verge of having some type of cold or something that's going around but I but I'm gonna quit yapping and head to my doctor's appointment um, maybe I will come back in the next clip and just tell you guys how it goes <laughs> I may or may not run um, to Hobby Lobby as well just because it's like right across the street from where my doctor's appointment is and I haven't been there in a while just because it's like across town for me um, and see maybe if they have some holiday stuff but if I don't do that then I will update you guys in the next clip <laughs> okay I'm just pulling back in to getting home and I honestly feel so much worse than I was already um, I was in my appointment talking to her for the intake for the initial intake for over an hour and it was good it was just a lot and like it, she just asked a lot of questions that is like was obviously necessary but and then it was just like overwhelming a lot amount of like information and everything like that and so as I was sitting there I just kept getting more and more like a headache and just like brain fog and then my nose was like getting more stuffy as time was going on and then I went to Hobby Lobby but I was honestly in there for less than five minutes and I was I just turned back around and I was like I just realized I know I don't really need anything right now and I also just feel like crap and I honestly just want to go home so I ended up just going to Walgreens really quick and I just picked up some like orange juice tissues and cough drops all those good sickly things and I honestly picked up Chick-fil-a because my fiance wanted it and so I just like got it because I honestly just don't have the energy or I even want to cook I don't even have really like a big appetite right now anyway and when I'm sick I usually don't really eat all that much um, and I guess it's perfect because it's also raining and so it's just one of those days where it's just like I just want to put on my PJs and I'm just being sick and I'm just gonna watch Christmas movies honestly all day long and so I'm gonna go rot unfortunately I don't know if I'm gonna feel up for going to my church thing which I'm kind of sad about because they only do it I think like once every month or something like that um, but I also don't want to go and like get other people sick and if I'm not like feeling up for it I really just don't want to push myself um, which is sad and I'm supposed to be doing like a few days of my life. Um, I'm gonna try my best to get more content um, I'm hoping I won't be sick for that long Usually when I do get like a cold or something it lasts like two or three days and then I'm usually Hopefully back on my feet um, not looking forward to the next few days, but It is what it is life happens um, But yeah um I don't know when I'm going to update you guys next, but obviously you guys will see in the next clip of whatever it may be, but I will talk to you guys soon. Happy Wednesday vlog. Obviously, I didn't film anything yesterday because I was glued to my couch, sick as a dog. I felt like crap. I'm still obviously like I'm still stuffed um, and I still have like a headache lingering yesterday. My head was hurting literally all day long. It hurt so bad probably a mixture of me being sick but also like I just have no appetite when I'm sick so I didn't really have anything to eat really yesterday but thankfully I am starting to slowly feel better I'm hoping this is just like a quick cold and I'll be over it hopefully by tomorrow um, like 80% just because we do have like an event 
um, at our local nutrition shop that is happening. Their second store location is opening tomorrow and it's like their grand opening party um, and we really wanted to go to that and we probably will. So I'm really hoping I feel a lot better tomorrow. I even was like maybe considering trying to go to the gym today, but that probably in retrospect is not the best idea. Um, and just giving my body the rest that it obviously needs. So I was thinking about maybe vlogging tomorrow as well for like the grand opening thing, but I also might just end it here possibly. Um, just because I feel like I have a good amount of content just for like a day or two in my life. But I also just wanted to come on here and say I'm doing better. Um, and also just do a quick little mini haul again um, with a few things that I received in the mail the past two days that I didn't get to show you guys yet. And I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but the last time I was sick was back in June um, for my cousin's wedding. And I had thought that it was just for me traveling because usually... Every time I travel out of state, I usually end up getting sick, but also that was the last time I got my hair dyed, and immediately after I got my hair done on, what, Monday or Tuesday, on Tuesday, I literally had a sore throat when I got home, and the next day I was sick, so I don't know if it's just a coincidence that I got my hair done both times I've been sick the past few times, or what, but... I don't know if that's like an allergic reaction maybe to like chemicals, but in the past I usually have not gotten sick from that kind of thing, but the last two times I got my hair dyed and then a few days later I was sick, so I don't know. But again, I'm just going to show you guys a few things that I received in the mail and then probably going to end the vlog. And it's honestly only a few things, so it's not going to take too long and I just like coming on here and doing little hauls um, as always. So the first thing that I got in the mail um, was a restock of Summer Friday Lippies. Um, I was really sad and my one of my favorite ones is the vanilla and a few months back I had first ordered it and it mysteriously just disappeared. I don't know where it went. I have checked like quite literally every single purse or bag that I own and it's nowhere to be found. Um, so I finally wanted to get a restock of that. Um, hopefully I won't lose it this time. And then a girl that I follow raved about the pink sugar one. So I got that one as well. And I'm super excited about these. And then I know I'd said in my previous clip of showing you guys the pants that I got um, from the Urban Hippie. And I said I don't really F with jeans anymore. Um, and I'm kind of just over them. But hear me out. These I got from American Eagle and I paid like 30 or 40 dollars for them. They were on sale and I had a 10 dollar off coupon that was about to expire. These are the ex-boyfriend jean so they are low rise. So they never have low rise um, in stores and this was an online exclusive and they were just super on sale so I wanted to try it anyway and I just took a shot in the dark. I got these in a six short which is my usual size in them but again like since lifting my sizes have been kind of like here and there and they fit my glutes pretty well and they go past my hips and I'm so short that they can sit low rise how they're supposed to on me but I can still pull them up a little bit more and have them be like mid rise. The back is a little bit big when I do pull them up um, like past my belly button but I still think these are like the perfect length that I've been needing. So it was kind of like a bargain, but I do really love these. And last but not least, um, I got this big oversized chunky Young LA hoodie. I haven't gotten anything from Young LA in a hot minute. The only thing I own from them is their like immortal joggers, which were on the raise and probably like still are. Um, and I do really like those. I don't grab for them too much. Um, and honestly, with all the controversy with one of their like owners or designers, um, I kind of was like pushed back from their brand a little bit just because I do not agree with the, that man. And if you know, you know. Um, if not, I'm not going to talk about it too much. But after that whole controversy kind of like threw me away from their brand but they released like this camel collection and I honestly thought it was pretty sick um, and I've never gotten a hoodie or anything from them so I did get this in a large, like a men's large just because I love like an oversized hoodie 
um, and plus my fiance, he'll also wear it. Um, so I wanted to get a size that would fit us both and that we would both wear. Um, but it's so sick. It has just Young LA on the back in like camo and then the hood is camo as well. And then obviously it is just gray all over. And then the front has like this big pocket with these little button details. Um, and then it also says Young LA again. And I'm really looking for their Black Friday sale that they're doing. And they said they were going to restock the entire website and up to 30%. So I am looking forward to grabbing more stuff in this collection. Um, like the matching sweatpants maybe. Um, just maybe in a different color. And then the twofers I think they're called. It's a long sleeve shirt but it looks like you're wearing a long sleeve and a short sleeve at the same time. And in the camel collection. Oh my gosh, and I also wanted to commentate on Outer Banks because if you're an Outer Banks fan, have watched it already like me, just because, I mean, I was sick all day yesterday, so I was able to binge it at like 8 in the morning, and I was done with it by noon. Um, it literally made me cry. I have been, like most, watching it since it came out in 2020, and... I, uh, if I spoil it, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna say who, but someone does, you know, and it's one of the main people, and I am so sad. I'm, like, still recovering. I don't know how I'm gonna recover. Um, I get really attached with, like, shows and characters, and I have loved this show so, so much, and I just think they did us dirty, I have seen a clip, like a farewell video from like the writers and the actors and stuff and saying that it was like all planned from the beginning that um, this was going to be the character's ending, but I don't agree with it. It is just so sad. Like I understand from like a uh, cinematic or storyline and that it's going to make and it has made a huge impact in the story, but I just don't know how many people are gonna actually like sit there and watch season five without knowing that their favorite character is not there anymore. Like myself, obviously if you spend so much time with the show and dedicated time, you're obviously gonna keep watching it. But I am just so sad. I am low-key depressed about it. Um, I think like a part of me like eh, with him and it's just so sad. Um, and of course it's all over my TikTok pages of edits and everything and it's just really sad. So again, if you have watched it, um, you know, you know, um, and if you haven't yet, um, it's, it's gonna be a cry. It's gonna be a roller coaster of emotions for sure. Um, but oh my god, the ending, like why? But that's all I'm gonna say about the matter. Um, but other than that, that's all I have to kind of talk to you guys about and show you guys. And I just thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me as always. And I hopefully will see you guys soon in the next video.